When it comes to drawing rectangles, many of us like to use the center rectangle because of its symmetrical behavior. Once you put down the rectangle, dimensioning of the edges would automatically adjust the rectangle in a symmetrical fashion. As we progress further with the model, sometimes the symmetrical behavior of the rectangle might be a hindrance to us. So how do we go back to the sketch to change this behavior? Simply open the sketch and delete the two diagonal lines. This will remove the symmetrical property of the rectangle. From here, you are free to adjust the rectangle in an asymmetrical fashion. The rest of the constraints that govern the rectangle are still intact. These are the parallel constraints, the perpendicular constraints, and the horizontal constraint. Now let's take a look at another situation. Oftentimes, we might place a center rectangle with a center that snaps to the origin. Suppose that we need to shift the whole rectangle off to the side of the origin. Is there a way to change this after the fact? If we hover over the center point, three coincident constraints pop up. If we hover over the first constraint, you will find that one of the diagonal lines get highlighted in blue. This represents the coincident constraint between the midpoint of this line and the other diagonal line. Going over to the next coincident constraint, the other diagonal gets highlighted. This represents the coincident relation between the midpoint of this line and the other diagonal line. Now, if you hover over the third coincident constraint, you will see a very subtle highlight of the center point of the rectangle. This represents the coincident relation between the origin and the center point of the rectangle. Click on this constraint and hit the delete key. From here on now, you will be able to reposition the center of the rectangle. Do take note that the order of the three coincident constraints that you see here might not be the same for you.